So you have two keys, one that signs. When you make, so you, when you make a deposit, you put two keys in, your withdrawal key and your signing key. Um, okay. I think your withdrawal key is actually like hidden. If I'm not mistaken. Um, and then basically the signing key is responsible for purely in, uh, for doing the actual validation process when you've got new attestations coming in and whatnot and you need proposed blocks. That's what your signing key is used for. When you actually want to go and exit and take your funds back, those funds will actually go to your withdrawal key. Um, so your signing key could be compromised, but you can still withdraw. Right. But if your signing key is compromised, uh, someone could uh, sign uh, multiple transactions that are uh, conflicting and you get slashed. So you won't get your money, but it can uh, uh, empty your uh, Deposit. The amount you'd get slashed and the time that you'd be able to actually go and withdraw, we're talking like a very, very small amount. Well, you can, in that weak subjectivity period, you can get slashed for any previous blocks, right? So like they could, let's say that you sign for a block um, or uh, you attested to something, they could go back and find those same, uh, uh, the same blocks and attest to a different one, right? 